I'm like, I ask her if she is single and like for 20 just, minutes, for like, 20 minutes, for 20 minutes, the dots, he's getting the dots. Uh, oh my God. Like, like, like she's trying to piece together what, what she's she, trying to say. And, yeah. and we were all invested. All of yeah. the before. this was at the high and dry. Yeah. All of the comics performing. We were just so invested. Like, what is she going to say? And we were all, even the bartender. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, it became like this whole thing for everybody there. <laughs> this is the Bill Squire Show. Everybody, welcome to this week's episode of the Bill Squire Show. We are doing things on Zoom. You're not on camera yet, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the speaker view, so it'll go. Dang. Uh, I'm your host, Bill Squire, uh, and I'll let you guys introduce yourself this week because it's going to be jumping from camera to camera. AJ DeCosmo. COVID DeCosmo. Yeah. AJ DeCOVID. DeCOVID Mo. <laughs> Uh, so you you've been you tested positive uh, I did. last week and uh, you've had no symptoms or anything though right I just can't smell or taste outside of that I had a little bit of a runny nose but outside of that I'm fine how, and, and have, like how often are you getting tested I'm I scheduled another test for Thursday okay don't do it. I, I don't have I don't have a choice I have to why because I, I can't go back to work till I test negative. So if you read up on the CDC, they tell you not to retest for 90 days because you can still give a false positive. And they actually have like something on the CDC, J just so you know. Like, no, they I saw, I saw yeah, AJ. Didn't you do She's your research? She's getting hot about it. No, I'm doing what work is telling me to do. Right. No, that's what I'm saying is if they yeah. start giving you a hard time when you like going back, like you can keep testing positive for 90 days, up to 90 days. Right. So, yeah. yeah. I'll be uh, okay. I've, I mean, I've known people who've tested negative after a couple of days. Oh yeah, you can, you can. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I'm only doing what, what I can do. Right. Yeah. And that's all anyone can do. Yeah. Right. It's it's running rampant right now too. I mean, the Browns news obviously came out today. This is a recording this on Tuesday, so by then it'll be a couple of days. But uh, like Mary has it; she tested I saw, positive. I talked mm -hmm. to her a little bit today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she got Mary never gets anything just like easy thrown at her. She got like seven spider bites on her body. I saw COVID. that. Ugh. What Poor the kid. fuck? What what is, what is she doing around all these spiders? She dude, she loves spiders, man. She's just she's <laughs> just a big fan of fucking spiders. It's viral marketing for uh she's an influencer, you know. So she's got uh do viral marketing for the Spider-Man movie. Yeah. Did you she... get your tickets? Yes. Did I get my I have not gotten my tickets cuz I don't know when I'm going to test negative. Oh, that's right. Oh my god, you have to avoid everything. Yeah. I think I'm going at like 5:30 on Thursday. I'm going as of right now. I have tickets for because I originally I thought I was gonna have like not be able to go on Thursday, but now I think I can go on Thursday. So I have tickets for Friday, but I'm gonna mm -hmm. go Thursday night too. Yeah. Because I don't want to wait. I know. Uh, you're you're gonna have to like social media. You can't like I can do I that because so it's my friend's birthday on uh Thursday, and we're gonna go to we're going to go out to drinking. So I think I can, I'm pretty good at avoiding social media yeah. spoilers and stuff like that when I'm, uh, when I'm drinking. Cause it's right. So Distracted. We're going, to, we're going to get drunk. And then I already, I already know everything that's going to happen. I saw the leaks. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. I, it, it doesn't bother me. Like I, I'm still going to go see it. Like it still makes me happy, but there is uh there is something that I did not see coming. Well, don't yeah. tell us. I won't yeah, spoil no, it. no, Such spoil a stupid it. face. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my face shut. I appreciate <laughs> that. I'm not saying anything. My face has been shut with boogers 
for the yeah. past week. It's been, it's, it's finally starting to like, I feel good today and I felt good yesterday, but like, I didn't really feel good until like yesterday I have had a sinus infection. And so I talked about this on the Alan Cox show a little bit, but there was a hot tub when I was in Detroit opening for Todd Barry. And I went into it and I made the, this is a dumb rookie. Like I, I know better than this. I'm, I made a very stupid move, but I put my head underwater in the hot tub. You never put your head underwater in a hot tub. Yeah. A, yeah that was, why, that was why, don't you, why don't you put your head underwater in a hot tub? In a, in a hot tub that is like a communal hot tub at a hotel. Uh, right. Probably, probably dirty water. Probably sticky. There's not like chlorine in there. There is, but I don't know. Like you're, you're, you're so opened up that like everything could because of the heat so like once i went underwater i think something some sort of sinus infection happened so did you get tested for covid i did i i so i tested because i was working at hilarities all weekend so i got a bunch of the rapid tests and was mm-hmm. testing myself every day because i didn't want to go in if i was testing positive right so right my, my thing was if i test myself every day with a rapid test and it says negative then i'll just keep you know assuming I'm okay just because it's mm-hmm. so hard to schedule one and get like a quick turnaround CVS they'll get it back to you in an hour they'll get it back to you in an hour but you, if you can get an appointment oh yeah the ones um, over by me are fucking jammed up for like three or four days so ironic because Sam emailed me today it was just like do you want to work to Sunday <laughs> he was like do you want to do a set on Sunday at hilarities I'm like I can't I have COVID oh uh-huh. like this past Sunday no, this coming Sunday. You might be okay by then. You should have said yes, and then if you have to cancel, you cancel then. Well, I didn't want to. I didn't want to put him in that situ- like situation. And like Tommy said, like with her grave warnings, I wasn't. I, might be, <laughs> I might be testing negative was, for the next ninety days. I was just saying you're not going to have a paycheck. <laughs> you could potentially not have a paycheck for ninety days if that's what they're waiting on. Oh, I think that no, they're going to pay me. They're paying. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, well, that's so, good. That's good. Yeah. I, I want to be oh, back, though. Great about it. Yeah. 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 So he misses all, all the dead dogs. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, th- I'm so bored. I am so bored. I thought that I was going to have fun. I thought I was going <laughs> to enjoy myself, especially because I don't feel sick. Do I sound sick? Yeah, a little bit. Do I really? Because I don't feel I don't feel sick. Maybe that's just my my nasally wop face. Maybe See, like I sound way sicker than you. I don't oh, know. Yeah. Feel way more. Yeah. Like I feel fine. Um, <clears throat> and I, I don't know. I, 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 I feel okay. I, I've just been playing, I've been playing a lot of 2k and I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of playing my Nintendo switch. I've watched everything I want to watch and I'm done. I guess You're up to date on Columbo. I'm, I didn't know. I guess I didn't. I didn't. I'm not up to date on Columbo. I kind of burnt out on Columbo. Like I had that one weekend love affair with Columbo and I haven't been back. <laughs> yeah. I kind of, I'm kind of good on Columbo. I haven't been watching a lot of TV anyway. I've been watching basketball, but like with the days yeah. when I was sick, I was just knocking myself out. Like I was mm-hmm. sleeping like 18 hours a day and it was awesome. Hold on. I'm going to grab something and I'm going to join Tommy. Oh, he's going to oh, get a cat yeah. too. Yeah. He wants to also have a cat on his lap. That's this is a, now becoming a cat podcast. Yes. Oh, uh, what's your cat? All right, let's go. Let's introduce all the cats. This Ooh. is Aiden. He's uh my senior. He's uh what six, 16 or 17. Well, he's an old fucking cat. Yeah, and he's like starting to get confused and like is just meowing in different rooms, not really knowing where he's How at. Are these, why are these black cats allowed in my space? <laughs> My cat would not be racist. <laughs> he's an old, he's from a different era. He doesn't need, It's a different no, time, Tommy. Yeah. He has another partner. Zachy is also my senior cat, and they are very gay. They cuddle with each other, they pin each other down, and they're we, they're gay. So he uh-huh. would not have been racist. He's a very progressive cat. Hmm. Well, just because you're gay doesn't mean you can't be racist. I think that's a very important thing to say. Right. Yeah, okay, but I'm just saying progressive. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
She wants nothing to do with that. What's your uh, cat's name, AJ? Uh, Franny. Oh. Franny. We used yeah. to have a Franny. And, and, and when she, when, when you say her name at her, she meows back at you. She might hang out up there the rest of the, the time. That's, that's fine. Hey, Franny. Franny. There she goes. Franny. She's, she's being shy. Sometimes <laughs> she meows back at you. Yeah. My yeah, cat. I just got, I just got whoopsie. She's chewing on bullshit. Of course. All right. So here's, let's get into some stuff that I wanted to talk about. So we, we didn't do a show last week because I was sick, sick and just was out of it. Like I was even going to try and do one, but like, I just couldn't get it together. Um, but I had a like really fun weekend leading up to getting very sick. Uh, I opened for Todd Barry, who is absolutely hilarious. Very nice guy. We had great conversations about music on the drive. But on that Saturday night at the Winchester, uh, a girl came out and AJ, you knew the girl that I was texting on uh, Sunday, not Sunday, Thursday. I knew her. No, you, but you, you were there for the, the, the message. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll explain this to you, Tommy, cause you weren't there. <laughs> so I'm messaging this girl and. I'm like, I ask her if she is single and like for 20 just, minutes, for like, 20 minutes, for 20 minutes, the dots, he's getting the dots. Uh, oh my God. Like, like, like she's trying to piece together what, what she's she, trying to say. And, yeah. and we were all invested all of yeah. the time. Before. This was at the high and dry. Yeah. All of the comics performing. We were just so invested. Like, what is she going to say? And we were all, even the bartender. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it became like this whole thing for everybody there. And it's like, I didn't want to like, because 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 the, the dots would show up and then go away. Stop. Yeah. And then they show up and then they go away for like a good 20 minutes. And That's then insane. finally, after 20 minutes, she just says, yes, I am single. That's it. And then we, ever, we all knew what that meant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're all like, yeah, she's not. But, right. well, yeah, but my uh, stance on it was, that's not your fucking problem. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. Well, I, I got clarification on what she, what, what she was typing and deleting, though. Oh, did what, you? What was, did you, you, you straight up said that? Well, because I, I, when I got home, I called her. Okay. And I was like, so. We were all at the bar and this was happening. And like, like I, I was very transparent with what was happening. And I was like, yeah. what is going on here? Yeah. And she was like, it's just a lot. And I was like, okay, I can take a lot. Let's hear it. And she goes, well, I was engaged. I'm not engaged anymore because he killed himself. So she kept... <laughs> I just God damn it, Surrey. God I just want to point out. I just want to point out that that guy's lasting legacy is this moment. Um, <laughs> this episode is definitely called "I Don't Understand." Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So she she tells me that goes mm -hmm. into some details. I don't go real deep with that. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna like tell. But she's like, I've been in therapy. Like I'm feeling like I can get out there. Uh, so. Mm. So she actually comes to the show on Saturday. Yeah. And we have some drinks and we hang out and she's cute. She's you know as advertised, which I was, I was very nervous because she like, she was sending me like pictures and stuff like that. Nothing like full body, like nakedness, mm -hmm. but like enough that I knew what to expect, but I was afraid that she was using pictures from a time when she was in like different shape and like, Oh, okay. Gotcha. And she was still like, she's hot. She's super hot. Mm -hmm. uh, so she came out and we, she came over and um we went up on the roof oh. and 
you had coitus. We fucked on the roof. What? Yay. Nice. It's cold. Yeah. Yeah, it is cold. Yeah, Why it would was. You put her on the roof. It, it, now it's freezing. But it was it, it wasn't that bad, but also like if you go, there's one spot on the roof where there's like these big fans and it's like not as cold on that side. And it's like out of the cameras. Now and here's Bill, two- Bill feels bad enough. Bill feels bad enough to cancel the show last week. Right. But totally fine enough. <laughs> to- but, but that was before I was sick. Oh, okay. Okay. That right, was, be- right. that was before I, I was sick. I'm sorry. It was my yeah. timeline. My timeline. Yeah. This is like weeks ago. So this is two weeks ago. Oh, so, okay. um, we were, we were fucking on the, the roof and there's two things about that. One, I hope nobody in my building listens to this podcast. I know Jake might. So Jake, keep the secret. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, because somebody like walked out while we were doing it. Oh, it wasn't as late as I thought it was. I thought it was late, but uh, it was like not even midnight. It so was like, it was like it was four thirty in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> but even like when it's cold, you don't expect anybody to go up there. So, uh, yeah, some people walked out. So we just like hiked up our pants and went around the the corner. But uh, what was wasn't even, even in a skirt? What's that? He wasn't even in like a skirt or a dress. You, she had to do the whole pull pants down. Yeah, I mean they're just like. We, we were like i was from behind so like yeah just kind of pulled them down a little bit and got uh-huh. in there yeah, and it, was, yeah. <laughs> it was it was a good oh. time oh, it was nice. going good like it was i mean it was so that was fun but then i noticed the next day i was at the 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 place where we were performing and i was wearing the jeans oh no oh, that no. i was wearing when we were on the roof <laughs> And oh. they they're black jeans, and I was like, "Well, that's a lot of stuff on those jeans." <laughs> that was definitely from her. That's so, awesome. so I had to give my yeah. jeans like a little once over in the green room, uh, oh, no. bathroom to to clean them off. So this is probably the grossest episode we've done. But yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm just, I'm, you, had to, you had to wash her her uh, her mucus. Uh, her mucus-y. Oh. Her mucusy. I had to, I had to wash her secretions. Yes. I don't like those words. Uh, well, what what do you want to use? Tommy I don't know. Huh? That's what it what? is. It's vaginal mucusy discharge. I know, but it just sounds so. And we like it. Uh, okay. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I don't. Seven I don't, out of ten. It it, ta- it tastes just fine. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'll, I'm I, no complaints from me. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I remember there was a moment when I was just licking it off Bill's jeans. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that, man. It kept me from yeah, being no embarrassed problem. on after stage. It was, after it was crusty. Hmm. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was. Otherwise, it's, I, that way it flakes off. Yeah, I had to get a putty knife. <laughs> Scrape it. Uh, so then, yeah, she slept. Out. We had a good night overall, but then. Uh, yeah, like that, like when I was like checking myself like full length mirror at the comedy club, it was like the first time I was in like real lighting and I was like, oh shit, that's a, that's a lot of stuff. That's noticeable. I got to do something about that. Oh, it's so awesome. That is great. Oh. So yeah, that was that. And then uh had a much, oh, so the, here's, here's another thing that happened. That same night, there's this other girl that's really into me, and she's like really forward about it. She came to the show, brought a friend, and that friend got them kicked out because she was too drunk. Oh, okay. And that was kind of weird. And then this girl's just kind of been like messaging me, and like, I don't have any, like, I think she's cute too. Mm -hmm. And I, I totally plan on getting it, but like, she's like been too forward with me. And like, like she kept just saying, like, when do I get to see? You? When do I get to see? You? I'm like, I'm, I don't even know what I'm gonna feel like seeing anybody right. right now. I just don't feel good. So like, yeah. when you have that kind of like, like I don't want to make a plan, and then have to keep pushing it back. So like, once I feel like, better, me- then I'll, I'll like let me reach out to you. Mm-hmm. And like the way that she's kept like that's like 
been a turnoff to be like just continually like hounding me whereas yeah. the, the girl from the roof she's been cool she's like hey mm-hmm. let's hang out again soon i know you're not feeling good hit me up when you're ready and mm-hmm. i like that i just right. have, i have this image in my head of this woman hounding you like what am i going to see you again what am i going to see you again and in your head you're just like can i clean this widow's pussy mucus off my pants <laughs> Uh, right can you give me a minute to clean the pussy mucus off of my pants that's right (laughs) i have some i have some dirty pants (laughs) let me clean anymore i washed them i i was i don't don't wash my jeans that often but when they because because between you and me it sounds like it's a hex (laughs) So, uh, yeah, so de- definitely recommend. I, I think that's actually the first time I've had sex on the roof. And I've lived yeah. here for two years, and then I lived with grandma for a year and a half. And I can't think of like anyone, like, I've definitely like made out up there, but I don't know if we actually fucked up there until now. So, and you waited till it was cold to do this. Well, because when it's hot out, like, or when it's warm out, there's always people. Uh, yeah, true. It's That's a good point. Yeah, so. Hmm. But I'm, I'm, I still wouldn't have any enjoyment in that. It would be too cold for me. The entire time I would be I, like, but, I, I don't but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like, the the, I'll take you up there next time we go up there. I'll show you the spot. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cover Bill with my mucus. <laughs> We're all going and, and we're, we're doing a field trip. We're going to go up there and I'll show you the spot that I was in. And it also wasn't super cold that day either. Oh, was it one of those warmer? It was days? those like warmer days. Like remember it got real rainy the next yeah. day, but like mm-hmm. that Saturday was like, I want to say like 50, 60 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad then. It wasn't super cold. Like it got colder the next day, but like, that night, and again, there's a side of the building because of there's like these fans and they're blowing out like hot air from the building. Like they're, it's pretty warm. Like yeah. it's a little bit warmer on that side. So are you going to see, are you going to see the roof widow again? Yeah, we have plans to hang out again. Okay. And oh yeah. We'll Make see. sure she doesn't see this episode. I have a feeling if she did. You know what though? <laughs> I'm being very coarse. I'm, I, I I'm, tired of like trying to like these are the things i like to talk about oh yeah like i want to be able to talk about this stuff because like i've like gone out with this girl like i like telling these stories so like if they you know if they see it they see it if they get mad they get mad like i'm not Mm because it this is my life this is what i like yeah and i'm not like saying anything that's going to give away who she is like nobody knows what her job is anything about her other than the dead person <laughs> <laughs> which i'm not laughing at the de- yeah like, it's I obviously know. super sad but like it's you know oh i also went viral on tiktok uh, yeah I'm tiktok i passed you in followers tommy hell yeah that's awesome how many yeah. followers do you have i am up to 34.6 thousand oh wow hell yeah, yeah that's i've awesome. had a good week on tiktok nice pretty cool <laughs> and boy they are all girls uh and it's yeah here's someone that says bill went viral fuck yes that's pretty cool <laughs> and then like there's a, like one of the comments that i just got was a man who is actually funny i'm so proud of you oh <laughs> <laughs> because it's a story about my son being trans so like it's a, it's definitely like a crowd that i wasn't hitting on wmms <laughs> yeah that's awesome yeah it's been pretty interesting it's been cool i'm happy about it uh and then like yeah well you know hopefully just keep building from there Mm -hmm. was that i'm proud of you thanks guys appreciate it yes Um, the other day i texted tommy i was like tommy i miss you oh yeah she was like what do you want You're just so fucking bored. He said, I miss you with the the eyes. Oh, the like, sad face. So yes. Yeah. And I'm like, 
what the fuck does AJ need? <laughs> I know. I'm like, what? I can't just miss my friend that I see all the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this I is mean, the first time we haven't been together as a group in a long I know. time. So it's like it is a little bit weird. AJ, I, I don't make friends. I like I, that I'm not used to that. <laughs> I feel like AJ might have the most friends of all of us. Probably. I have a lot of friends. <laughs> Like, but you like message people a lot. Like for someone that I do. doesn't text I stay back. in touch. Yeah. Well, no, I say it, I do text back. <laughs> I do. We have it's an episode. Debatable. Tommy, I always text you back. <laughs> in fact, I texted you first and you're like, what? What's wrong? <laughs> you fucking cunt. <laughs> <AJ>. Did you, <laughs> did you subscribe to her OnlyFans yet? No, I didn't. I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now. Um, no, don't do it right now. <laughs> Tommy's OnlyFans. Um, no, she's just like, <laughs> I'm just like, Tommy, I miss you. Go to hell. I didn't say that. I'm, I'm fuck right off. <laughs> die, AJ, die. No, I was just very confused, okay? This is what having friends is like, Tommy. I guess, I guess. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> You do text at odd times, though, because you're kind of a night owl. Odd t- do I text on odd, odd times? Well, you're 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 a, you're an up late type of person. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'll definitely get yeah. some like middle of the night text. Like you sent me something the other day it was like very late at night, and I was just <laughs> like, I, like it's the first thing that I say, saw in the morning, and it was, uh, like just a strange thing to wake up to. <laughs> <laughs> one day the one day uh like, oh here it was it was okay so it wasn't wasn't as late but it's still pretty late uh what I say? like the last text i sent to you was at 9 5 p.m and this is on thursday when i was still pretty sick uh and not feeling that great and at 11 56 i get a text from aj which i understand why you sent this like i'm not saying it's wrong that you sent it but it's the first thing that i see the next day when i wake up so at 11.56, you sent me a text that says, Demarius Thomas is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a football player. And like, yeah. it's super sad. Total bummer. I get why you sent that text. But then like, I like I am heavily med- medicated. I don't even respond to you till 10 a.m. the next day because that's how like out of it I was. Yeah. So like, I I, I didn't see that until then. At like, did I tell you what I said to J- Jimmy Killius at like 3.30 in the morning? What? Day? I was just like, hey, Jimmy, do you want to come over and suck my cock? <laughs> and it was at like 3.30 in the morning. And then he texts back, ha ha. And then I text back, oh shit, I'm sorry, wrong Jimmy. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, that might make him feel bad. Well, no, and then he was just like, ha ha, funny. I'm like, no, dude totally not a joke like do not tell anybody this happened (laughs) i'm not ready to say this out loud yet all right we got nine minutes and 51 seconds left to record on this call or we'll have to start a new one so uh i'm just letting you guys know okay we don't have to stop yet but we we got I'll wrap it up when I see it. There's a counter, a, a timer. So we'll, okay. we'll keep it a, a, as a shorter episode. Okay. Uh, but uh, Tommy, what about you? What's going on with you? Anything COVID or roof sex or anything like that? No roof sex, no COVID. Hmm. You did do a fun photo shoot. I saw with all these beautiful ladies. Yeah. That, yeah. That looks very it. fun. Yeah. It was a Christmas photo shoot. So that was a lot of fun. That's with um, the same person that you did the veterinarian clinic one with. Yes, correct. Yeah. 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 Very creative. Phrasy is his name. Mm. Yeah. I, I did the, um, I did oh, a slime. Here's a slime what I wanted one. you to talk about. So some dude, you, you kind of put this on your story and you don't have to call him out by name or anything like that, but he got, he was some drunk photographer. There's like, oh, the, yeah. What, yeah. What was this creep on? Um, so I'll call him out. I don't care. I, I think I should, I should. Yeah. Let's make this a yeah, fucking fuck gossip him. podcast. Yeah. Fuck yeah, him. Let's, no. let, let's dox this motherfucker. Let's dox him. What's um, his bank but, account? 
<laughs> no, so his name is um, Dangerous Dolls, and he's from Ohio, but now lives in LA. And for like, I don't know, at least a year, we've been trying to shoot when he comes back in town. Um, a different photographer I know knows him. And then over the summer, one of the girls that I've shot with had shot with him. So I reached out to her. Um, anytime I shoot with a photographer that I haven't met before, make sure that somebody I know like can give a good recommendation. Um, and she said, oh yeah, he's really cool. Like I had so much fun. So we were scheduling um, a shoot for like, I think it was gonna be this week. And he's like, okay, what's your number? Um, so we can, you know, connect the next, like the day before. So I give it to him, he texts me. And then he goes, and what's your legal name, by the way? And I, and I give him my name, Tommy Miller. And he goes, I don't believe you, but okay, dot, dot, dot. I'm like, why don't you believe me? And he goes, that just doesn't seem true, but I guess I'll trust you. I'm like, why would my name be, why would I be lying about my name? And then he goes, why would your parents name you that if they knew that you'd get hung up on it? And I'm like, this is the first time I've ever had anyone like question my name. Right. So at that point, I'm like, oh, and then he goes, um, I'm sorry, you trusted me with your number. Now I'm going to keep it. And that was like where I started thinking, I'm like, was he hacked maybe? Like, did somebody, cause it's, isn't that like a weird thing to say? It's, it's a weird. really weird thing to say. It's creepy. So I message him on <clears throat> Instagram and say, hey, what's your phone number? And he gives me a number and the number is like one number off. And I'm like, okay, he's either drunk or maybe he really did get hacked and someone's like, cloning a number you know how they do that and like mm -hmm. make it look like it's a number you would know um and then he, i i said something i'm like uh what's your name and he goes matt and i'm like did you text me and he goes well now i did winky face and then i'm like okay no there's something fucking weird going on and i'm like don't contact me we're not gonna shoot and he goes i'm sorry it's really late and i'm really drunk um you don't deserve this i'm sorry and like, that was it. And then in the morning, he messaged me like a huge thing. I'm so sorry. I was really drunk last night. Um, and he apologized, but like, I never replied or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think he was just really drunk. And I don't even know, like, that's why I didn't call him out. Cause I'm like, I don't know what he would have was even trying to do or like, yeah, it just sounds like he was super drunk and being stupid. Honestly. Right. Just being like, kind of like a dick but yeah. like and weird yeah it was just very bizarre like it just didn't seem like there was any real motive and like anytime we talked before like he never said anything weird but yeah it was just strange mm -hmm. you know what but now that you bring it up it's tommy miller is that your real name yeah Tell like that's real name that's such a weird thing to ask that's such a weird thing to ask like there's girls named tommy there's right. a lot of people with the last name Miller. Right. What yeah. It was odd. I don't know. I've never encountered anything like that, but yeah. Who knows? People are weird. Yeah, they are. They're fucking weird. Yeah. Um meh, what are you gonna do though? Uh yeah. as long as he wasn't, but he wasn't I I I'm I'm glad it wasn't something more salacious or like shitty or anything story. like that yeah 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 like no me too it was a drunk dumb dumb which yeah that's why he's I also like been a drunk dumb dumb before right and like that's why i didn't blast like his name like mm -hmm. right away because i'm like i will post this very generically and if models want to reach out to me and ask who it was i'm more than willing to tell them you know mm -hmm. um but yeah it was just so odd like i don't I, I really don't know the motive of that. I really think it was just alcohol. Mm. And that's not okay too, but yeah, it's just weird. Don't do business when you're drunk. Right. I agree. <laughs> I, I agree. Uh, speaking of doing business, let's do a little bit business now. I am headlining a show on New Year's Eve at Geneva on the Lake uh, at the Geneva on the Lake Brewing Company. You can get tickets at BillSquire.com. That's going to be a lot of fun uh and then uh tommy what else you got going on any tommy lc 
maybe some sort of holiday dildo show. I don't know. <laughs> you got candy no. cane dildos? <laughs> no, I'm going to no, need to think of something, Bill. Damn it. <laughs> that's holiday dildo show is my favorite Beatles album. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no nothing really going on i will have a holiday thing but probably closer to the new year but follow me tell me i'll see what about you aj do you have any cool things no i'm recovering from covid19 oh yeah um yeah uh i wanted to do stand up sunday but i'm not gonna do stand up sunday um follow uh subscribe to weekly humorist and follow me aj de cosmo on twitter and instagram do you know what you should do aj you uh, should and bill have bill stand on stage and you call bill and you tell bill the jokes and bill says the jokes on stage i thought well i thought it would be really funny if uh i did bill's set one day and bill does my <laughs> <set>. <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to do that poorly <laughs> bill that's i'm not- kidding I- i'm busting your chop <laughs> uh yes and then uh follow me on um tiktok the bill squire on there and uh check out the alan cox show we only got a few shows left that, but when this comes out it's our last show of the, the year uh, oh, wow. on the alan cox show alan cox show.com for all that info and yeah, that's that's it for this week's episode of the Bill Squire Show. Uh, so we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. This is the Bill Squire Show.